Hello everyone, my name is Jake, and today we're going to go over Fusion Workflow, Insta 361 X Edition. After you've taken your photos, you'll want to plug the Insta360 ONE X into your computer. Once you see U-Disk on the camera's display, you should see a new drive pop up on the computer. Instead of using Insta360 Studio and exporting to JPEG, we're going to take the files off the camera and place them on our desktop. Let's make a new folder on the desktop, labeled New Project, and a subfolder within that, labeled Originals. We're going to paste the files in there. Insta360 uses a proprietary file type called INSP that isn't compatible with anything but Insta360 Studio. However, if we change the file extension to RAW, we can use them elsewhere. Let's copy the original subfolder we made and paste it in the New Projects folder and rename it RAW. Changing the file extension on this many files isn't ideal. I found a free program called Bulk Extension Changer that will do the work for us. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll leave a link for this program in the description below. Let's open the raw subfolder, put INSP in the extension column, and raw in the replacement column, then hit go on the bottom right. Now that we have converted our files to raw from INSP, we can use them in Lightroom or whatever program you prefer. Now I'm going to import the raw subfolder from our new project folder into Lightroom. You don't necessarily have to stack your brackets here. I did this out of habit. We're going to let PT GUI do our HDR merging in this tutorial. For the sake of time, I'm just going to apply a preset and move on. Once you're done doing your edits, 
Let's go ahead and export. Click Choose, navigate to our new project folder, and make a new subfolder called Export. And then select the folder. Don't rename the files, and under File Settings, set the format to JPEG, color space to sRGB, and quality 100. Once the files are done exporting, let's navigate to PC GUI. Open up File Explorer. Navigate to the Export folder in our project. And select the first three files. What we're going to do is create a template. Just drop those three files in and click Align. Since we did not HDR merge in Lightroom, we are going to enable HDR mode in PT GUI. Check the panorama editor to see if everything looks alright. Then hit the Create Panorama tab at the bottom. Change the quality to 100%. Then go to File, and Save as Template. Save it in our project folder. Once that saves, Go ahead and exit out of all the PT GUI windows. And then open PT GUI again. This time, we're going to go to Tools, Batch Builder. We're going to select Detect Panoramas. Make sure it's three per panorama. And browse to our export folder. Under template, let's go find that template we just created. Turn align images on, because again, we did not HDR merge, and go ahead and generate project. A new window should pop up, called the Batch Stitcher, showing the progression of all our panos. Once the batch stitcher is completed, feel free to back out of PT GUI. I'm going to navigate to Bridge, to our export folder, and check on our panos.
If you find a panorama did not stitch correctly, or well enough to your liking, you may double click on the PT GUI file of the corresponding pano, and it will open the individual project. Navigate to the Control Points tab, and go up to the Control Points of the top toolbar, and delete all control points. Notice how I can see this cabinet on both panos. What you're going to want to do is make a control point in a corner somewhere and then rotate to the other side and find the exact same bot. Generally, you're going to want to make at least three control points on either side of the pano. Once you're done with your control points, head to the Project Assistant tab and run Optimizer. Go ahead and check on the pano again. When you're happy with it, create panorama and save to Batch Stitcher. Once you're happy with your panos, you're going to want to select them all. You can hold down the control key and click on each individual file. Right click on one of the panoramas and open a camera raw. You can do fine tuning in here. I'm just going to apply a preset again for the sake of time. This will open all the panoramas into Photoshop. If you're not familiar with actions in Photoshop, I'm about to change your life. If you do not see the Actions toolbar, you'll have to go up to Window and click on Actions. Alternatively, you can press Alt F9 at the same time.
I'm going to go ahead and create a new action. And I'm just going to label it Demo. Now that the action is recording, I'm going to select everything but the tripod area of the pano. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Ctrl T to transform. Grab the top square and drag it to the bottom. Now select both layers and merge them together. Now what I want to do is resize the image. Change inches to pixels. I'm going to move it to 6,000 by 3,000. Now I'm going to go to File, Save As, find our new project folder, and make a subfolder within there called Final. Make sure you save it as a JPEG. Quality at 12. And once it's done saving, go ahead and close it. Now we're going to stop our action. So what this action has done has created a macro of creating a mirror ball, resizing the images, saving, and closing out of the file. So all we have to do is press play on the action, and it will do it to all the other panels. And once they're all saved, feel free to close out of Photoshop. Check out your finals folder. And they're all set. I'm going to create a new tour on one of my agents in Fusion. And once I get to the media manager, all I have to do is just select all my panos and drop them right in. And this pretty much wraps up the Fusion Workflow Insta360 1X tutorial. If you liked this content and are watching on YouTube, please give a like button a poke. This is the first of presumably many videos I will be making. Feel free to leave a comment of any questions or perhaps any other subjects you like to see me cover in the future. And as always, blue skies, clean hands.